am back with another bullet journal video. This one is the setup for April 2019 and yes, I am perfectly aware that I am two years late because I didn't want to do it. it I had eight hours of footage and I was really not looking forward to it if that, but I did. And the only reason I'm doing it now is because I am supposed to be sketching for next month uh, which is gonna be a big, big, complicated month and I don't want to make the sketch and I don't want to do it so I guess it's time to edit some videos instead. As you can see it's a new, a new journal, a new book so I started with um, the month's layout so I can like put on my appointments it's always better. Then I did that that page, that very very op optimistic page that I stopped doing since because it just doesn't work. Um, it's a page that uh, I did for all of my big projects and plans and they have categories and like sewing and reading and binge watching and and crafting stuff and I really really don't do them so that page didn't work out at all so I just stopped doing it mm. it looked pretty because like all of those little flowers took me forever but they, they're pretty but they, they are so useless and here we go to April because April that year was chemo themed, themed. I have sometimes these parts of me that are still like nostalgic or something and and yeah emo emo times were my early teens and I didn't leave them as much as I really wanted to leave them so I guess this was just a way for me to, to pretend I'm still a teenager as you can see um I wanted to make more of the, the front page and, and make all of the pages one by one but then I realized that it would just take me forever and I was tired and I didn't have forever to do it so I just gave up, I did only the pages that I needed so the, the mood and the weeks and that is all and here is the tracker and the mood page the left is for the edits and the right was for the mood. This one was a fun thing that I stopped doing. It was my one sentence a day layout so I can actually write stuff and it didn't work out well. So I just stopped doing that. This one is the second week if I remember correctly because the first week had already passed, like it was already the 8th of 9th, ninth, ninth, and I just said okay we're gonna do the week that we actually need so I did that week instead and it looked a little weird so I just added more to those and it was like the more you add in the end the better it will look and it's just classic high school doodles and they were pretty cool if I have, I am back. It's a few days later, and I had been fired, so I can actually move on. Oh, hey, oh my, my cat, being a bitch because that's a cat. So I am a little bit later, and I'm starting from scratch, from the beginning, and from the first page, which I wanted to add some more doodles and more things because the emo aesthetic just needs to have more, more and more and the more you add the better it looks and the more realistic it looks because it's like it's it's cool doodles that you do when you're bored in class which I did a lot I like it a lot um, it's it's a little extreme it took me a very very long time to complete it was a very long long month, hey again um, but I, I really liked it so I guess in the end that's what matters here is a, another week layout 
and this one was about emo music groups. Uh, we have Linkin Park, we have Fat Out Boy, and we have Evanescence. I think this one is Panic at the Disco, but I don't remember it well. And this one is one of my favorite is uh, the cover for Green Day American Idiot. And I like it. And maybe it's just as simple as that. I just like it. We have the to do page, and next to it, I wanted to have some art, and it took me a lot of time to make that art, but it's just, it was a classic. I don't even know what is it or what it is from, but it's a classic, and for me, it always meant emo. So I wanted it, but it just it took a lot of time because there was a lot of things going on, and a lot of different colors, and and a lot of watercolor involved, but in the end I think it worked out. Yeah, it really take, took a long time, like, I think one hour of my time was only on this one. It was insane. Another weekly spread. I'm trying every every time to have more interest in in the way I'm doing the week and and the way I'm doing the the month and the days and uh, it's not always easy. Like the cases, I've just an extra line on top and a bottom because I don't know it makes him more interesting, but it's not working very well. Fun fact, my shoes when I was 13, I think, were the one on the right and the one on the left were the one wore by my best friend. So, it was a little... I don't remember that it was pretty cool. I did a lot of different stuff and different art and in the end I think I really like it. It just took me a long time and I was not in a very good place mentally because uh, I just got fired and I was kind of starving because I really needed a, a pay paycheck that I didn't get because I got fired. I just, it just, it was a really bad time for me so I don't have the fondest memories of this month which is a shame because it's, it's really cool. I really nailed it I think but like I really really like this page those two two little doodles and uh, they look great I love them but when I think about them I think about that shit all of period in my life and I'm, I'm glad it's done and I, I moved on to days where I can eat every day that's that's nice always nice uh, oh yeah, it's an another day again. As you can see, I did my nails in a emo way as much as I could because I wanted to be on brand with the with the theme. If you if you notice, you won't notice because I cut it out, but. I did not have any sketch done what I started filming because I was in such a bad place mentally that just I didn't prep anything and I did the sketch on camera and that's why I had eight fucking hours of footage and the only thing that I sketched in advance was the rose that I have in in that bottom there and I decided to keep it on this, as a sketch so I didn't film me sketching it which is a shame because it's really pretty and doesn't show well on camera so here on the right we have the introduction to Welcome to the Black Parade because of course and some corset back for the to write page because because it's cool and gothic and, and emo so I wanted it. It doesn't show well in camera, but it, it's really detailed and it's really pretty. And I made bows because, of course, I made bows. 
and they're really pretty. I'm really glad I did those. And I did those this way so I can just glue them wherever I want it. So they look pretty, pretty good. And they they just tie everything together, I think. And they have the exact kind of mood I wanted to go with. So it worked out. And that is the last page I wanted. So I wanted to make the white eyes emo <laughs> version of Ivory really Loving in the girlfriend album, I think. And it it took a long time, but I think it worked out pretty well in the end. But my favorite part of this page is what I did on the right. I did a mix of like thorns and spikes and black and green and roses and it, it looks fucking amazing. And it's the page for acknowledgements and like to write everything positive that happened in my life that I should be grateful for. and. And I stopped doing this one because I'm not exactly that kind of person that tries to have a positive mindset that just doesn't work out for me and it's, it's okay, it's not a problem. So I just stopped doing that page since. Which is a shame because sometimes I really nailed it uh, visually at least. So at first I was like, I'll... I'll make all of the vines in green and and on, so, on some I will have green thorns and on others I will have metal spikes and I decided that it just didn't work out so I just covered in black all of the ones with the metal spikes and it looks fucking amazing and I love it it looks it looks really cool like I wish I had more appreciated that month, but currently I did it once April already started, so I didn't like it as much as I should have, but it's it's pretty cool, so I really like it now that I uh, finished it and that I'm not in the same instead again. So it looks pretty cool, it looks very heavy and a lot of doodles, a lot of things, I really 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 love it. Also, the, the mood page looked amazing, which is always a bonus. So here it was. Hope you liked it. See you next month, maybe. Love you.